What's up, everybody? I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek. Thank you very much for joining me here on Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture podcast. If you're listening to the audio version of the podcast, just a reminder, Pretty Dece is now in video form as well. Search Pretty Dece on YouTube or visit prettydeceshow.com slash video for the link to the channel. If you're already watching in video, thank you very much for being here. Let's get straight into the fun. You know, MotorStorm is a game that I love, a game series that I love. It's one of my favorite arcade racers of all time. It's right up there with the Burnout games in terms of just amount of pure joy that it brings me as I play. Um, MotorStorm had four main games on the PS3. There was MotorStorm, MotorStorm Pacific Rift, uh, Arctic Ridge, and then finally Apocalypse. Uh, so they, they opened their series with crazy, ridiculous racing through the desert, and then with Pacific Rift, they moved into this kind of like volcanic island, this really like lush, beautiful island jungle area. Uh, Arctic Ridge took them into kind of snowy, icy landscapes, and finally Apocalypse was their first game in an urban environment. You're racing through like just decaying like cities, things are falling apart, like an apocalypse is happening. Those games are super fun. Um, nothing really compares to just like flinging your car into into nothingness, into another car, and just watching the the slow mo carnage happen uh, as as you try to like careen around a corner or, or something like that. Um, MotorStorm was the first series that really showed off the power of the PS3. I remember playing MotorStorm uh, on a, a, a demo a kiosk before the PS3 even came out, thinking I, games can't look this good. I, I can't, I can't fathom that this game looks as good as it does, and that the car destruction just looks as good as this does. This is, this is unbelievable. Uh, and then, of course, you know, heaven forbid I forget to mention MotorStorm RC, which is far and away my most played game on the Vita. It is the the secret successor to RC Program and Super Off-Road that, that I always wanted and then finally got hand-delivered hand to me on, on the Vita. Played a ton of that game as well. That is a, an overhead-style RC racer that isn't like the other MotorStorm games, but it's still super, super fun. So why am I talking so much about MotorStorm? Obviously, I love the series, but why bring it up now? And that's because in Paris Games Week, which is happening right now, Codemasters announced a new game called Onrush. So Onrush is... Basically, the only way to put it is that it is the spiritual successor to MotorStorm. It's being developed by former members of the team behind the MotorStorm games. Uh, those guys got scooped up, they, they formed this new studio, and now they're working with Codemasters here to put this game out, this game called Onrush. And Onrush looks so much like MotorStorm. You have, you have bikes, you have buggies, you have all, all manner of off-road vehicles, and you're flying through these like ridiculous lush environments the trailer shows a lot of this um what looks like a ski resort you're just flying downhill in this what clearly is a hill meant for skiing but instead you're driving cars on and cars are smashing into each other things are flying everywhere um there are tricks the 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 the, the people on the the bikes are doing like insane tricks and like supermans as they're flying through the air um the game looks ridiculous and looks fun um, I, I'm very, very excited. It seems like they know exactly what they're doing in terms of what should be in an arcade racer, uh, what should be, you know, fun about these types of games. And it's just the, the ridiculousness that that goes on, you know, um, realistic racers are are very popular nowadays you know you have your Gran Turismo games you have your Forza games which come out every year and you know those are our varying levels of arcade versus simulation and you can adjust the settings and stuff but there there's nothing about just the ridiculous explosions car crashes um, that you can get to in in a Forza game like you can in a motor storm so I'm really, really pumped about this game coming out. Uh, this will be out 
on PS4 and Xbox One. So this, this is not a PS4 exclusive. Uh, this is coming out to 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 both platforms. No word yet on PC or anything like that. Uh, but both consoles, it'll it'll be out on next summer. So we don't have too long to wait for this really awesome arcade racer.